Hey everybody, welcome back. Mike from Spectra Comics here. A while back I did a video on tablet tips for beginners. And today's video, I wanted to kind of do a deeper dive into the hotkey settings that I talked about in that video. That video will be linked in the description below. But I want to talk about how to set up your hotkeys, the keys that are on the side, how to set up your uh, drawing pen, and then we're going to talk about my personal settings, how I use them, and we'll just run through a quick example of that. So let's take a look at my pen settings right now. One of the buttons I've set on my tablet brings up this screen, which reminds me of all the settings that I've selected on my tablet itself and on my pen. I'm using a Wacom Cintiq 13HD tablet. I'm using Photoshop Elements 2019. Based on whatever tablet you use or whatever uh, drawing program you're using, those settings may differ. So this is an example using a Wacom Cintiq 13HD tablet. So let's pull this down. Uh, well, let's take a look at the actual pens. So we've got um, the two top buttons. We've got a rocker ring with a center button and we've got two lower buttons on the tablet itself. And then on the, on the, and then on the pen, we have uh, two buttons. So you've got your tip, your drawing tip, you've got uh, the front button, and you've got a rear button. And then you've also got an eraser at the top and an uh, eraser function, not an actual eraser. But this is not customizable. This will always be an eraser. You may or may not use it. I tend not to use it because it seems cumbersome to flip my pen over when I'm drawing. Uh, it's much easier just to use the erase tool that's in Photoshop. So those are my actual settings. Let's talk about how to customize them. There's two ways to get to the customize menu. When you download the software for your tablet, you're going to get uh, this uh, interface icon on your desktop. It's a W with a circle around it. You can go right to pen settings to bring up your interface menu. You have your tools, you have your functions, and again, you have your express keys. So the two buttons top, two buttons at the bottom, and then if you want to get into the rocker ring buttons, select that, and this will bring up the rocker ring menu. So let's talk about that. Simply to customize your buttons, you just hit the little down arrow and you have a lot of, you have a lot of different options. Most of the options you're going to probably be right around either clicks or keyboard. Uh, in this case, I'm using a keyboard stroke for increasing the pen size I selected the close bracket to increase the pen size. That's a photo, Photoshop shortcut button. Uh, similar, in a similar way, I got the bottom button, those two top buttons. The bottom button of the top buttons is also a keystroke set to uh, the first front bracket. So that makes it much easier for me to quickly change my pen size when I'm working. That works for the pen, it works for the eraser, and it works for the pencil. Um, so that's a nice little quick key to constantly, because I'm constantly changing pencil weights with my, when I'm drawing. So that just makes it much, much quicker to go. Let's talk about the rocker ring. Rocker ring has four buttons, up, down, right, and left. And it's got a center button. I toggled the center button to show you the display. So it's just clicked, it's just set to be the settings of my, uh, of whatever I've set the buttons to. It brings up that display. It's helpful if you forget which buttons are which. Um, I don't, I don't write, no, they're not written on the side here. They're completely customizable. If you've changed them, you can just quickly click that button. It brings up the display to remind you what your buttons are. So my up button is the undo, which is a setting. The keystroke control Z is undo. Uh, my left button is delete. My right button is escape. And my lower button is the shift key. Let's go back to the express keys and talk about uh, the two bottom buttons. I've got the modifier, the alt key, which is a, just a keyboard stroke. And we've got the on-screen keyboard. My laptop has an on-screen keyboard inherent in the, in, in the, in the laptop. Um, so it's a nice little tool to bring up if you're just, if you don't, if I don't want to reach way over here because my laptop's above my tablet to type something in, I can just bring up the, the little mini keyboard that comes up on the screen. So those are the settings. Let's talk about the pen settings now. If we click over to the tool and go to Pro Pen, it gives me three options, pen, eraser, and calibrate. Uh, again, I mentioned uh, the front, the, the tip of the pen acts as a click or, or your drawing uh, element. Um, then you've got the, the rocker button that's on here, which the way you hold your pen, it's easy to click. The front button I set to pan. So again, you got the same kind of uh, various menu options here. Um, I selected a click 
for the back button, right click, just like a mouse, which will bring up various menus depending on what setting you are in. And the front button is navigation and it's pan and scroll. This is very helpful if I'm panning around the drawing and I just, I'm working over here, then I wanna slide the drawing over and work over here. We'll get into an example of that shortly. So that's how to set up your pens setting. So that's how to set up all the buttons that are on your tablet. Let's talk about how they actually work. So let's say I'm using the pencil tool and we'll just go from top to bottom. Uh, again, increase pen size just by the click of a button and decrease pen size. Again, those are hotkey shortcuts, the brackets, the two brackets, uh, the right bracket and the left bracket, increase or decrease pen size, just a Photoshop hotkey. So I set that function, those two buttons to that function. Uh, let's get to the rocker ring. Up is undo. So let's say I draw a line, I don't like it, I can quickly undo it. So really easy and simple. Or I can draw the line, oh, I don't like the line, I can erase the line. It's a marquee tool and just hit erase, delete. It'll delete whatever's inside the box. And that's helpful if like, oh, I drew a line, but I wanna, only wanna delete half of it. So now I can delete half of it. So let's get rid of the rest of it. <clears throat> let's talk about the right button, which is escape. So let's say I escape gets you out of many functions. So let's say I draw a marquee, I wanna escape, get rid of the marquee. If I've highlighted something, hit escape, get out of the highlighting. Um, the bottom button is the shift key. In Photoshop, I use shift to group layers together. So let's say I select a layer and let's say I wanna select three layers and link them together or merge them. I can hit the shift key and highlight three layers at a time and I can you know, merge layers or I can link the layers. You know, so the various, various options there. And then let's say and then let's move on to the bottom two buttons. So the lower button is the Alt key. So let's say I draw a line and I wanna copy that line. So I can just highlight it. You can see I've got the line highlighted now. And when you're in the move function, hitting Alt creates a quick copy. Now I've got two lines, same lines copied. I copy stuff all the time, move it over, uh, reuse. Uh, using the copy tool is very helpful in Photoshop. And then the final thing is the toggling the keyboard. Again, just by clicking the keyboard, toggle keyboard here, I can bring that on. Now, so let's say I want to create a new layer and I want to give it a name. Toggle the keyboard. Keyboard comes up and now I can just type in the new layer name. New. And really easy. Uh, it saves me the having to reach over my tablet. Again, my laptop's way up here. My tablet's down here where I can work on it. And it just is a lot more, it's a lot easier just to bring up the keyboard on the screen and just type something quick in. Uh, I can also use it with the text tool. So if I was typing dialogue. So that's that. Now let's talk about the pen. So again, I mentioned that the front click of my pen is pan and you know pan so I can now pan I could click the button brings up the hand and I can pan around the drawing real easy big time saver this is one of my favorite functions of the pen itself instead of having to go all the way up here and select the pen I could be in any function and just quick to quick click right to the pan setting very helpful very quick and then the other uh, button is again like a right click so I can select any function here it'll bring up the menu by right clicking and you now I can you know let's say I want to transform so I could transform my selection so very helpful right click function just like a mouse because when you when you you're when you're using a tablet you're going to tend not to use your mouse you're going to tend to always work with your pen and you should get used to working with just the pen and not the mouse because it's actually cumbersome to use a mouse on your tablet those are my button settings. Those are my pen settings. That's how I use them. Uh, you're going to have your own way of doing it. Um, I hope it was helpful to just see how to set them up. Uh, so we want to walk through how to set up the various functions. I showed you that you can use whatever keystroke or whatever hotkey function you want to use. Uh, it's going to be based on whatever your personal workflow is and what your personal, uh, you know, what 
what functions do you use a lot? It would be nice to have a little button just to make it a lot quicker. And that's it for this video. Hope you found it helpful. Hope you found the walkthrough of how to set up your pen settings. Again, everybody's pen settings are gonna be different based on how you personally work. This is how I do it. I wanted to share how I do it, maybe kind of uh, give you some better ways to do things. But I also wanna hear from you because if there's something I can do better, I would like to learn new techniques as well and new settings that might improve my workflow. So again, like the video, subscribe to the channel for more content. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time.